swag of a prize fighter. The antithesis of a firefighter. Arsonist, I'm a fire rider. Instant flame like a fire lighter. So special with shows, I live out my flows. Can't walk in my shoes, can't purchase my clothes. Ice in my veins, but I never froze. Picture perfect, but I never pose. As a juvenile, I know I bounce back. Got rated, had a plan to get my ounce back. You cheese as bait, that's a mouse trap. Let me to the right person to pounce at. They selling dreams, I'm pulling receipts. Full force, we can't be beat. Got a dirty mouth, but the flow so neat. Keep your two cents, talk is cheap. The next topic we're going to discuss on Boxing Bros is Caleb Plant clowns David Benavidez for reading off his phone at the press conference. So y'all remember that press conference. And we all saw it where David Benavidez was talking real tough. He was talking spicy. And then he went to read off his phone. So before we do that, I want to show you uh, the post. This is from Caleb Plant, as you can see. So it's <laughs> Caleb Plant doing some trolling. He wrote... <laughs> My big speech <laughs> in bold. And then he said, trust me when I say I'm going to beat the living ish out of you, you bleep. I'm going to beat the living ish out of you. Oh, yeah. And then when you're in the freaking ground bleeding from your freaking mouth, you're going to realize how to respect a real freaking boxer. That's real. What? What? <laughs> March 25th. Mark my words, I'm going to put this mf -er in the hospital. So that's the speech, you know. It's written out like, like it was actual written speech. And then Caleb Plant wrote, uh, asterisk, rip glasses off face and look at them. See y'all March 25th. All right. So now that we saw that, this is what he was making fun of. So at the press conference, Caleb Plant was actually reading off his phone after talking all the tough guy talk. So let's take a look. This is K this is uh David Benavidez after he talked all that trash reading from his phone. I'm going back and forth, but on March 25th, I get to put hands on Caleb Plant. And trust me when I say I'm gonna be the fucking living shit out of you. I'm gonna be the living shit out of you. Oh, yeah. That's real. What? What? Like, I'm scared because I'm fucking. Hey, really? Oh, no, he's about to cry. This dude, man, he has 13 knockouts. He thinks this because he knocked fucking Anthony Durell out. That's supposed to be something to me. I beat the shit out of Anthony Durell when I was 23 years old. I was champion before you. I got three fucking belts right now. Man, you look good. I don't know what you want to fucking You're all fucking. You're all fucking short. You ain't nothing. Now watch March 25th, mark my words. I'm gonna put this motherfucker in the hospital. Okay. I guarantee you guys. You guys gonna so that's what he was making fun of. <laughs> David Benavides reading off of his phone during the press conference, which uh I'm gonna turn over to you, G. What's your reaction to Caleb Plant making fun of David Benavides for reading his bitch? Off of his phone. <laughs> it's whatever, but nothing, none of that matters. It's cool, man. Listen, listen. Like, Dave Benavidez is a boxer. He's not an orator. You know what I mean? So it's like, it's whatever, man. You could clown him for, for his little speech with, you know, his little frustrations. But maybe Dave Benavidez <laughs> understood he needed his notes, man. You know, it's cool. Some people <laughs> I'm not even hating, man. That That... This has nothing to do with the fight. So Caleb he needed his notes for that speech, G. <laughs> G he took a page out your book. <laughs> okay, listen, listen. He needed his notes, G. <laughs> Caleb Plant, keep focusing on his little speech. You need to be focusing on how he punches in the ring. You know what I mean? But it's cool though. So it's whatever, man. It's just hey, man. Yeah, y'all. Whatever, man. Keep laughing. Hey, OG, yo, OG, yo, you ain't gonna rip the glasses off, G? I know, I, I was expecting you to rip nah. the glasses off. That's what I was waiting nah. for. Nah. 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 I'm bigger than this right here, man. I don't know. <laughs> dollar bill. This, 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 this segment is childish. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Trill dollar Yo, man, that, that, this is just Caleb Plant, you know, throwing a party. David Benavidez's his head. <laughs> That's all he. That's all he's doing, because you know he's in his head chilling, <laughs> inviting everybody over to throw a party in there. It's up to David Benavidez. 
to calm itself. You know, this is a part of the plan. This is part of strategy. Caleb Plan knows what he's doing, and he's hoping that that David Benavidez is not as smart, and he uses this against him. David Benavides, his wife has already said that all he does is talk about Caleb Plant. She said it out of her own mouth. We all watched it. All he ever, that's all he talks about every day. You know what I'm saying? Like, he, even wrote, he even wrote a love letter to him, true. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Like, so I hope that aggression, he don't, you know, run into something. But Caleb is definitely, you know, trying to get in this young man's head and he's using yeah, G. And all the stuff. Mm -hmm. When's the last time you, Trill, when's the last time you wrote a letter or something to another man? <laughs> uh, actually, my son. I mean, he was that's not another movie. man. See, that's, that's, <laughs> a, that's not another man. That's it's it's all right it. to write letters. You know? No, it ain't. No, it ain't. That's family. That's family. <laughs> well, other than that, I'm not writing to no man. <laughs> I'm not writing to no man. He wasn't writing to a man. He was writing a speech. It's a big difference, man. Come on, yo. Y'all can't be doing that. His big speech? His relative. he said was directed at another man. Hey, man. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, but all in all in all, man. Personally, I thought that speech people. was quality. <laughs> <laughs> He got him. He he got it. He got him. He got him all hot and and heated, and you know in boxing, all it takes is a mistake. And when you make a mistake, we are with 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 the. I want to quote the great Floyd Mayweather. When you make a mistake, <laughs> you got to pay. <laughs> Darrell made a mistake, and he paid for it. If David Benavides lets Caleb Plant get in his head and he makes a mistake, he will pay. And I think all this is a strategy from Caleb Plant to get into David Benavides' head so that he makes a mistake and he goes out there crazy and gets caught with something. All right, TV. I guess I'll box. <clears throat> TV. All right. This has got me questioning the dog and David Benavidez, man. Like, you don't got it in you. Can't talk trash off rip. You got to read. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's not in you. Like, this question is you really like, man. Like, is, is this your fighter? This your fighter. He has to. Somebody has to write trash talking notes for him. Like, come on, David Benavidez. That's that's not it. It's showing me like you you not you're not in this fight. You don't got no no no. You don't you don't want to fight. You're not emotionally. Invested in this fight, like you really want to beat this man. You're just like, you you, you kind of look like you're taking Caleb Plant lightly, and Caleb Plant's looking at you like, yeah, yeah, you're really a goofball for reading off your phone because like, it's, it's a cool. press conference. Anything goes, let it fly. Yeah, like my cool. man, my Caleb Plant tried to smack Canelo, and he paid for. Like Trust said, you make a mistake, you gotta pay. He broke uh, uh, Canelo broke his Versace glasses too, yo, and he ain't paid for them. So you know, <laughs> you coming in here and like. Uh, I am going to beat you up on March 25th. You will be hospitalized. <laughs> that is so corny. <laughs> that is so corny and cringy. And the stare, the stare looked look bad. It wasn't even it, bro. Like you didn't even like you just like who 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 said you could do this? Who let you who said gave you that's great? You got him, Benavidez. Like, nah, man, that was corny, that was whack. And mm, good luck, good luck. GD's is fourth grade intimidation tactics. <laughs> you know this, G. Fourth grade intimidation tactics over a game of kickball. That's what you're witnessing from David. Even the speech. I'm going to put you in the effing hospital. Mother <laughs> effer. You're going to be on the ground bleeding, effer. All of it was fourth grade. I'm like, even, even you know, like you get the cornrows in to intimidate, to look more intimidating <laughs> on the playground. That's what he, yo, this, this <laughs> dude. Everything, yeah. Why are y'all like this, man? See, it was cat G. Can you admit it was calculated? How do we know it was calculated? He wrote a speech. Yo, everything was calculated. 
What's wrong with that, man? Maybe some people just need to. Oh speak. my god, you need that, bro. You you don't got it off the rip like like Ned said. You ain't no, got baby, it off the cuff. Yo, who knows? Maybe he think about him so much he oh, had to write yeah, something like on the rail though. What if you, you know what? We get one too. He's 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 too. Yo, I don't see now. people he's in arguments. I, now, I, I'm, not, I'm not lying to y'all. I don't see people in arguments get so mad that they words stop making sense. You're like. What you know? what I'm saying like they're, they're so they're seeing red. Cut it so, out. Like, sentences don't even make sense because they in want his head. So even he the way he was in his head. Head. I, I, I just think he's just too clean. So he's he gonna forget how to talk. So he's gonna forget how to throw a punch too. Nah, dog. Come on, don't disrespect, man. He yo, listen, Ben Vides is gonna violate your man, Caleb. Man, it's just. It's just the man can't write his like you can't. Right. See, I, I don't got really much to say. I just Caleb, don't know what it is. Caleb gonna Caleb gonna Caleb gonna get David Bennett be that so mad he gonna go out there and windmilling. <laughs> <laughs> like full grain. He you, know be so mad. you know you got that bully, you've been training all week. Your uncles, you know, all the dudes on the block been giving you advice. Soon as the soon as it starts, though, you so mad and everything, you forget all the technique. It just turns into a whaling session. <laughs> I get it though, G. I get it. He, might, he might bite Caleb. He might hey, listen, bite G, him. I've been around people like <laughs> David Benavides. True, you've been around people like David Benavides. Ned, you might have been around David Benavides. David Benavides is the kind of dude that right before it's time to fight, after you done said a few mean things about him, he start crying. And everybody's like, oh, don't do him like that. He's like, fuck, cry when I keep mad, yo. It's <laughs> <laughs> They're like, oh, he's one of them dudes, one of them emotional dudes who cry when he get mad. And everyone's like, oh, he's crying now. He's crying. <laughs> For the record. I'm not done with none of this. I don't even want right. to do this segment. I'm just throwing I-O- it out there. IOG, just real quick, real talk. I, I, I'm done. Great David Benavidez speech. He gets an A+. Plus. <laughs> <laughs> I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> Let us know how you feel in the comment section. Please like and subscribe. Check us out on Instagram and Twitter. Please check out our podcast on all major streaming services. You know you rocking with. Rocking, bro. <laughs>